My name is Ifali Dante. Uh, I'm a basketball player for University of Oregon. And I live in Oregon and I'm from Mali, Bamako here. When I left here, I was 14 years old. I was I was old when I like that was for me to leave my mom and my family. You know, I'm a family guy. I love being around my family. I can't do nothing without them. Like not seeing them in it's the worst thing for me. But I had to man up and then do what I need to do for them and for myself. But coming back here is mean everything, you know. I'm enjoying every single moment that I'm here. It's, it feels great. It feels great. Because six years is not like six months or six days or six hours, you know. But yeah, and I need to do what I need to do. I need to do something to change our life, not just me, my family life. You know, and then my goal is to make it and then change everybody in this house. I want to change their life. Yeah, and then this house means everything to me because this is where I grew up. I was I was the first one born here, and then grew up here, and then now I'm back in this place. It means everything to me. My dad was here before he passed away. Zena, Zay. It was a really tough decision for my mom to make, you know, since uh, my dad passed away when I was really, really young. And between me and her it was way deep. It was crazy, you know, it was like love between us. Like for us, it was just something different, you know. We could, we could go away from each other. It was not easy for her, you know. The time of difference was hard for her. And then when I left the first two weeks, she got really sick because she had missed me so much and then I missed her so much. But uh, since we had a phone between us, and my, one of my sisters had an iPhone, so I FaceTime her. But the first two weeks, it was really hard. And then it was keep getting harder and harder. It doesn't matter how, like, y'all can face how much you want, but it's not like seeing each other's face to face, you know? So me coming here is mean everything to her, you know? To, to me too, you know, we haven't seen each other. We literally could live without each other, you know? So I remember before I left, she went to, she went to her village. It was just for a couple of days. But when, before she came back, I got really sick because I miss her so much. But so for me to go somewhere six years, it's, it's crazy. But that relationship will stay the same, but we just miss each other and then we make it out, you know. The first time that I stepped here after six years, the first thing that came to my mind is when I was young, this door right there, it's not it's not a big door. But like anybody who chased me, when I get close to the door, this door, you wouldn't catch me because when I'm running past it, I just know how to just like uh, avoid somebody to just get in the house that you can you don't you can catch me. You know, so Anytime I see that door, now I'm way taller than the door. And I look at it, I was like, wow, I can't believe it. I used to just run fast as I can and just 
come to the house. So that's just my memories. Nali Jarani A Jelani Fokadoga Jarani Auna Nabalana Ambe Dodi Kawi, Alaki Yatara Dome Alhamdulillah Rabdalana Barika Alai Bella Fuka Walimando A Jarani de A Jarani Foka de Matin Mitadon Kapokuni Beke Alhamdulillah Alaka Bunga Dome ara she made me who I am, and, and that's my motivation. Anytime I'm down or feel sad, anytime I think about her, it's just making me keep going, not stop, and then keep going hard every single day. Anything I do is for her, you know. <laughs> we have another family in a uh, different location, but it's all one family. At night, everybody come here and celebrate and bring it joy, you know. That's how, that's how my family is about, bringing happiness, be happy about, you know, if you somebody down, help each other and lift them up. The one thing people don't know about is, uh, I was the first one who was born in this house. So when my dad bought it, there was no of my siblings. They always youngest, I was the first one born in this house. So I always say remember, like, anytime I see this house, like, yeah, I was the first one born here. and then, and I have a lot of memory in this house. So this means everything to me. You know, it's all started here and then I wanna do what I can for them. For this for people in here and in the house. Basura came to me so like life changing, you know. The kid from Bamako, where I live is the life is difficult. But uh when the basketball came to me for family, uh, you know, school is different from here to the US. But when it came to me, it just changed my life. There's no other way to say it, it just changed my life. Helped me get in a different uh, education, the better one, make me go to places that I was dreaming to be at, which is big. Since I was little, my dream was just being in the US. I never thought I could be getting my degrees, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm a one year's years for getting my degree. So. It's just, oh, I can just say my dream coming true, you know, because I never thought about getting degrees and then be playing in front of a thousand, thousand of people in the U.S., but it's just life changing for me. Yeah. Go get me some juice, boy. Why, bro? Hurry up. Okay, bro. Oh. Look at him. Because the camera is trying to be nice. Hey. <laughs> when I was younger, I was the tallest of my age in my neighborhood. And then my sister used to play basketball. So anytime I see her go to basketball court, it would make me want to do it. And then she had a basketball at home. I used to take that basketball and then dribble with it. Dribble it every time and then my indoor got better, so I decided to join. The memory of this girl is, I mean, I can, we can be here till tomorrow, I can tell you about all those funny memories, but uh, one thing is, the first time I came here after six years is, is where I started, you know? That's, a, that's the uh, thing coming to my mind anytime I see here. I come back and see the course, so it's great, you know? That's where it all start. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you heard it. <laughs> Basketball has changed my life so many different ways. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even describe it because 
because of basketball, I want to be where I want to be. You know, I, I growing up, if you want to be somewhere, you know, you want to be something that, you know, as younger. So, and then it helped me to follow my dream, which is playing basketball and then get like degree. So I'm almost there. So it helped me to get there and being in a country that I always want to be at. So it changed my life. That's the only way that I can put it. The head head coach before camp, camp is a head coach right now, but like the head coach before that is uh, Yuba. Yuba and then Kemp. Kemp is a head coach right now. His name is Musa Sidibe, but uh, I call him Kemp. So my relationship with them is great, you know. It's, it's always good, you know. We have a time, hard time and then fun time. It's always end up be fun, you know, because we have a love for each other. And then my best friend, I call him my brother, Kader Jara, he's my, he's my brother. I was, that's the only way I can call him because he has helped me in so many different ways. Even I'm down, he's like helped me up and then encouraged me to do things that I don't want to do. But he knows it's best for me, so I must just wait till I make it. So I will do anything for this guy. He has changed my life. His, his name is Kader There's so many things happen to me make me feel like, oh yeah, I can do it. The first one is uh, when I was younger and then when I was like 16, they tell me to go to the national team, I was invited. And then they tell me, oh yeah, you know what, you stay away, we, we have what we want. So I was like, that really pissed me off. And then the other thing is, uh, I'm not gonna say the name, they say a lot of coaches think that I, would, I can be a good player. That really motivate me that I can do it. And then, most importantly is to uh, see my mother make a peanut butter. So that is something I hate seeing it. You know, I don't like seeing this. So, and then this one day after the parties, I was walking back to back home. And then I was thinking, how can I change my mom's life? And then figured it out. What can I do? What I need to do? And then I come up with the thing that I was like, you know what, it's going to be tough, but uh, I'm going to make it. So yeah. My advice for my young brothers and sisters is you can do anything you really want to do. Like, I want to take an example for myself. I mean, at first, I never trust on myself. And when I start trusting myself, everything comes together, you know? So my advice to them is just like, work hard and then be at school, do your school work and then work hard. Just follow your dream, I'm gonna say it like that. Basketball in Africa is gonna be like different in five years. I can see it different because when I left, it was different. Now it's getting like it's getting developed, de like it's getting better and better. So in five years, I really think it's gonna be really, really good for Africa because we have a really talented kid. We have a hard worker. We have a kid that have the heart to do what, like do basketball and then play hard and be in the court, do whatever they can for them and the family. So in five years, I really think he's gonna be good for Africa. Well, growing up, I used to like Daniel Jordan because he used to dance really hard. You have powerful, he can jump. So I used to watch him and uh, Kobe Bryant when he was uh, he was playing because he used to be, you know, really. He, used to, he was young that time and then he was powerful. Anything he does is powerful, so I used to watch him a lot. I want to be an NBA player, you know? That's my dream to play in the NBA. And then after playing, uh, I don't know what I want to do yet, but uh, for now, I just want to get my degrees and then play in league. So it changed my people's life and then my life, my life and my people. Oh, Dante, c'est mon joueur. J'ai été son entraîneur depuis qu'il a commencé le basketball. Quand il a commencé en 2013, c'est moi qu'on qu a confié. 
Je lui souhaite que vraiment qu'il va réussir, qu'il va jouer dans la plus grande ligue au monde. Et c'est tout ce que je lui souhaite. Et que moi, je serai vraiment très fier de voir au moins un de mes joueurs à réussir là où vraiment, voilà, beaucoup de personnes n'ont pas pu atteindre.